Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. As the recording of this, it is Sunday, March 12th, 2023. I am in Las Vegas, Nevada, or Nevada, Nevada, Nevada. Not really sure exactly how to pronounce it. Nonetheless, I will be meeting up with a guy today that in passing, I have met a couple of times, but never spent the day with him. And we've been trying to connect for a heck of a long time, and today is the day. I'm heading over to meet with, up with him now, and just kind of see what happens. I don't really have a game plan. I'm kind of putting the day in his hands and just see what he has to show me around Las Vegas. Nevada, Nevada. Nevada, Nevada. Oh, it's warm. Join me. Shall you? All right, I would like to introduce you to the one and only Video Bob. And clearly I realized that we wear the same type of sunglasses. Well, yours are... Mine are like imitation $5 yeah. ones. I don't know which ones well, you these got. These are but. classic Ray-Bans. Yeah. But I had to, truth be told, they're prescription. Cause oh, okay. <laughs> these I got, I think I got these on Hollywood Boulevard for like eight bucks or something yeah. or 10 bucks. But people say I look like Tom Cruise in these. Do you think I look like Tom Cruise? It's the, it's uncanny. It's uncanny, oh, is right? That, is that Tom? Is that Tom? Is that, are you in Mission Impossible? I better get <laughs> I do checks. I do all my own stuff. Checks. You know what's crazy is these are normally like an eight dollar pair of glasses, like you said. If you get a prescription mirrored, it's like five hundred bucks. Wow. Okay. And, and and I lost the first set at Universal Studios in Orlando on the Mummy ride. Yeah. They flew off my head. Yeah. I lost them. I had to go get another set. That was the only time I've ever lost a pair of glasses. So if you go in the Mummy, secure your loose belongings, yeah. keep your arms and legs inside the vehicle. When you go to Disneyland or Disney World, you you go on Big Thunder. They say best remove them. Best remove them. It's yes. like an old prospector that tells you that. So explain, explain kind of what you explain kind of what you what you do and what your what your thing is. Well, I do uh, movie cars. I started in Dallas, Texas. I now live in Las Vegas. Uh, just behind me, obviously, is the Blues Mobile. We've yeah. done about eight of these. If you've ever been down Route 66 in Joliet, Illinois, there's one up on a pole that we did at the Pops Gas yeah. Station across from the Speedway. Home of the first Dairy Queen. Yes. Yes, absolutely. So this is my personal Blues Mobile. It's a 360. It's not the 440, but it runs like a top. It doesn't have air conditioning, which is not good for yeah. But the thing uh, runs great, and I'm just a big Blues Brothers fan. I have some Blues Brothers sitting on my front porch. Yeah, I want to go say hi to them. stop all the time and just run up on my porch to take pictures with them, which scares my wife. You, know? you got them all chained up over here. Listen, we've had some incidents you can see on my channel of various crackheads and homeless people sneaking onto the property. I had a smaller set of them sitting here, yeah. and some uh, crackhead scooped them up, put them in their shopping cart, and hauled off them. Really? So I chained them up. Chained them down. It's Vegas, you got to be careful out here. That's just a good point. <laughs> it's, These are pretty it's, good. There's, this is different than the ones you always see. You always see the, the two standing up dancing, yeah, dancing you know? One. Well, you know, I, I, want, I bought these because I wanted to put them in the car, but they're getting kind of faded from the sun. I need to repaint yeah. Elwood's face and their glasses are missing. But they're made of fiberglass, so they're pretty tough. And right over here next to the car. But from over by the street, you know, I'll tell you, my neighbors... Oh, do you stop? No, I'm recording. Okay. My neighbors told me, um, they said, you know, we, uh, those, those missionaries that you had visited in your house, <laughs> they're not very friendly. We waved yeah. at them and they didn't even <laughs> wave back. I've entered the compound now. Remember the first time I met you? I'm trying to remember. We were at the Twin Pines Mall. That's right. I was with my friend that's, Dustin that's Scarred. Right. I just happened to be doing some photos with a time machine at the Twin Pines Mall and I was at there. the Twin Hills. Twin and Hills you Mall. just happened to be, by coincidence, yep. showing a friend around. And yep. like, what are the chances of that? You gotta go back and find that video because what's great about that video is remember the security Got kicked was, out. was chasing, was, you know, we were we were chasing our, our, around the parking lot yep. like the movie and he made us leave. He said he was gonna call the cops. I remember that. He was not a back in the future. Man. And then we also met again at the Ghostbusters reunion. Of course, the, the, the Ghostbuster Fan Fest in Culver City, yep. Sony. Well, before I was doing cars, you know, I worked in the rock and roll business. I used to work for Vinnie Paul from Pantera. He had a record company called Big Ben Records, and I used to drive a tour bus. So well, when I did that, I got to meet a lot of rock stars, and it was a lot of fun. And I'm, I'm friends with some of the guys in KISS. Um, my good buddy Eric Singer, who lives here, he's out of town today, but uh, they're doing some KISS stuff. So I've got to meet Gene and Paul and Ace and yeah, uh, cool. Tommy and Eric and everybody. There's Gene's boots and his hat. Oh, those are Gene's? And uh, his vault. These are some things that Pantera. I earned in my world of music business. This is signed by Pantera, signed by Damage Plan. These are some DVDs that I worked on. And I saw Pantera projects. once back in the mid-90s with Typo Negative. It was awesome. Was oh, yeah, I was, was there. Uh, in Orlando? 
No, no, no. Well, they, when they came through Dallas, but that oh, through Dallas, that tour, that tour, was like that tour. yeah, mid nineties. Totally. You have an Elvis suite in your house? I call it the Cadillac suite, but I'm a big Elvis fan, as you know. I have a TCB tattooed. Yeah, you know, I always, always wear my red necklace. TCB. And one of the things I love about living in Vegas, this was Elvis's home uh, for many years, and um, so to pay homage to him, we, we made the spare room into this gold Elvis suite. It's kind of dark in here today, but um, when guests come, they have their choice of staying in the Elvis suite or in the Kiss suite. Not sure All right. right. I would probably choose the Elvis suite if I was to stay here. I was born in Tupelo. Oh, man, really? Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Tupelo. I'm a it's Tupelo. A Very nice. Yes. Yeah, so I have a soft spot for Elvis. But if you're a big fan of Kiss, the next room over is our Kiss suite. The Kiss suite. There it is. You know, lava lamps and things. Uh, got the Kiss pinball machine. I know she got a lot of pinball. I like pinball. Yeah. Pinball's fun. So, um... So I would imagine you've been to the Pinball Museum here in Dallas. Of course. Yeah. I've been there many times. I like the original location. It was so much more quaint, but the new one is fantastic. It's one of the greatest pinball spots in the world. And um, Right next to a church that Elvis used in a movie, right? It's true, yeah. Yeah. So this is a fun little room. You know, it's all black and red, my favorite colors. You know, I got a smash guitar from Paul Sam Stanley from that one, the residency in Vegas. The rest of the house is kind of normal. Vigo, the Carpathian, the scourge of Moldavia. He keeps an eye on things as you enter the Right at the top house. of the stairs. Right at the top. Um, some of my guitar collection, I have about 30 guitars, I don't play guitar. But, but when I was on tour, I got to meet a lot of amazing artists and I got to uh, get some of their signature pieces. Did a TV show with Brian Johnson called Cars That Rock. Wow, no kidding. Just did a music video with Billy Gibbons and Morris Day and I had Billy sign this guitar for me. So whenever I have those opportunities to hang out with Metallica or Slayer or whoever it is, I, I opportunistically get a sign oh, guitar. Absolutely. Probably one of the, my prize of my collection is up here. This is one of Vinnie Paul's signature series D drum. Uh, this is the Reflex kit. All of this hardware that you see was from the last Pantera show. Those are all Pearl hardware that he gave me. His hat, one of his hats is up there. Yeah. So if you're a big fan of Vinnie's, um, and then, uh, you know, I have like one of our proton packs that we build at our shop. And um, so basically, I think, uh, so you, I don't think you mentioned this, but you build things, you sell the cars, you sell reproduction, yes, things like that. Yes, we sell movie props and movie cars. That's what pays for all this stuff. There we go. That was from Rebel Meets Rebel. I like this. Well, Audrey 2 over here in the car. Audrey 2. I got that during the Total Eclipse of the Sun. Uh, it was this, this, this old man sold for me for dollar ninety five. That's my kitty. That's the puka bear, we call him. He does not, he looks, you are like seven feet tall, so you're scaring the crap out of me. Oh, no. Is this but your chair here? That's the, the wife's chair. I sit, imagine, just, this is. This is where you eat dinner. This is where I eat dinner. It's, it's, I sit here, like, I, yes. bring me my wine. Wow. <laughs> you got the setup. It's like a compound here. Thank you. It's this nice. is, this is, uh. A wonderful house. It was hard to find something like this. I searched I like for about it. five years until I found the right property. A lot of property. And I jumped on top of it. So, interesting story. I know this looks like the Miami Vice Testarossa, which it kind of is. It's actually a Trans Am rebodied kind of a kit car. When I was a teenager, I used to hang out in this shop in Fort Worth, and a guy named Paul Wilkins used to build these. And he was sort of a mentor of mine, and I've spent like 20 years trying to find one, and I found one here in Vegas. That's why I bought it. So, so I know people give me slag for having the kit car, fake car, but it means a lot to me because the guy that really introduced me into custom cars built this car yeah. and, and I wanted to have it, you know, so. Uh, when, I think I of a few, when I think of you with a few things, Knight Rider is definitely one of the things I always think about when oh, it comes to you. It's in here. <laughs> Back to Thank Future you. Ghostbusters, Knight Rider. Oh, back there. Mystery Machine's back there. back there. So this is where the magic happens. Oh, this is one of my workshops. Of course. Oh, look at that. That never gets old looking yeah, at a time machine. Uh, we're doing a little work on Kit Car because his alternator is running a little, a little low. And um, we've got to put his hubcaps on. We're doing some interior revamping, so I don't have this gash in. Oh. I love that sound. Close the <laughs> That's I, I have my own pit, you know, I change oils. You know, I have to be able to work That's on great. kits electric. He can't fix himself. This over here 
is a car known to all Cubans and Floridians. This is the cream puff. It's the Cadillac from Scarface. Yeah. Al Pacino's cream puff. Puts the hat on. Would you kiss me if I wear the hat? Yeah. Well, but, you know. You got the hat? No, I got oh, the chainsaw. Got... Not the leg, eh? <laughs> That's great. What a scene. Yeah. Now, just to clarify, these are ones that you recreated or some of these screen used? Well, no, it's not screen used. If you saw our television show called Screen Machines, I had a reality series on the Reels channel in 2015, and we did a different car every episode. And this was one of the cars that we did for Angel Salazar, who played Chi Chi in the movie. Yeah. And, uh, Chi Chi, you know, get the yayo. Chi Chi, get the yayo. It's in the trunk. And um, he signed the dash. One of my actually. favorite. One of my favorite movies. So. Um, That's great. This thing is so much fun to drive around. You know, for when I first walked in, I was thinking True Romance. Isn't it kind of the same style as well, a True Romance car? You know, you've seen this 63 convertible in a lot of movies. 3,000 miles to Graceland. Yeah. A lot of different, it's a classic. To me, there's only three vintage Cadillacs that, that fit the bill. You've got the 59, the 60, and the 63. Those are my favorites. The 63 has a nice angular look. The fins aren't too big. Um, but it's a wonderful... Wonderful Cadillac, and it runs. Oh, love those sounds. Oh, man, I love Back to the Future. I'm wondering, have think, you ever been in one of these? I've been in, yeah, I've been in a few of them. Because you're gonna have to ride like Ace Ventura with your head out the window. I don't know if we can close the door. I've been, I've been in a door. I don't times. know if your fans realize how big you are. You were a tall guy. The most common thing when people meet me, they say, you're taller than I thought you were. Yeah, because I'm 6'2". I'm a big six guy, three. weigh 210 pounds. Yeah, you're 6'2". How is he two. only got an inch on me? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, you're 6'2". Let's, let's get let's back like, up No, here. no, no, you're taller than that. Like, let me stand up all the way. Like 6'3". It's got a, maybe, what, you got a lift issue? No. Maybe right. I'm shrinking, I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm 6'3". Maybe I'm 6'1". I need to remeasure. But that's the most common thing. I think out of every time anyone meets me in person, that's the probably nine out of ten times people will say that. You're taller yeah. than I thought you were. Yeah, I'm like a giant. Well, Jordan is tall too, but see he always Jordan is tall. He always holds his camera up like this. That's the vlogger move. Yeah. Yeah, we all you do know. we all do this. We Jordan's go way up here. Jordan's a big guy too. He's we all do guy. this. Yeah. He does that. I need to start doing that. That's the vlogger move. You just put you put the camera way up tall like that. This is where we work on more delicate items. I like you giving me like the behind the scenes. Oh, you're tour. getting everything. I love it. I didn't know what to expect today, and then you're like, yeah, you could film all this. Yeah, you could. Now, this is the new Hasbro pack that Hasbro just released, uh, which is a great value for the money. I mean, these were like 600 bucks with the wand. Um, unfortunately, sold out, of course. Now, we've been building Proton packs for a very long time, like this one here, um, which is done a little bit more like the movie. Much louder. Yeah. Very loud. And uh, that's because we put literally a car amplifier in there and a big speaker, lithium ion battery pack. Uh, the shell was uh, basically recasted from one of the Screen News original molds. The, the stunt packs that were used at Universal Studios when they had the live show. Right. Remember when Wayne Brady was a Ghostbuster? You remember that? Vet, nah. He, was, he worked it. I don't remember. He was, but anyway, I, I did not know that. Yeah. I didn't remember he that. Was, he was, he played Winston. But anyway, so. Uh, it's been revamped. I mean, we had to go and make this part and this part and all the other parts, but we've probably done like 500 of these. I don't even really offer these for sale anymore. We have a couple of them. They're like 3,500 bucks, so they're really expensive. Yeah. Most fans can't afford that. So these are just for real serious high-end collectors. The diehards. That want, you know, something really, really, I mean, it does everything. And it's pretty loud. Very loud. But it has to be loud because if you're going to go to a Comic Con, you want to be heard. You need to be able to be heard. When we were remodeling, we found all these vintage copper pennies all under the all floor. You know, this guy was like a hoarder and he was saving all this copper. These are all still in their package. I did a video on it. You can find it on my channel. What's your what, channel? What's the channel? It's now? called Video Bob. Just, 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 just look at Okay. And uh, there's a secret room under that Cadillac, a, a nuclear bunker. What? Yeah. I found when I was down in the pit, there's a secret door. You can crawl through a tunnel and there's like a, you know, storm bucket yeah. shelter. But we keep finding things like lead bricks and copper and uh, these guys were, were preppers. I have it plugged in, but this is my Scooby mystery machine. I drove this from Dallas. It's, a, it's just a nice little van. And um, when I need to do van stuff, I just use this as a van. 
You gotta get some crazy looks going around Vegas oh, yeah. on this thing. I don't know if there's anything in here. Yeah, some some kicker speakers. And Scooby snacks. <laughs> you got actual Scooby it's snacks in there? <laughs> somebody ate my Scooby snacks. So what's unique about this property, like as you see here, I have a well. So I have an unlimited source of water here in the desert. I have a 200 foot well. This is a like a 5,000 gallon tank. So uh, it's hard to find a property like this out in Vegas because they won't let you drill a well anymore. Yeah. You ever heard of South Fork Ranch? Does that ring a bell? South Fork? South Fork Ranch in Dallas. No. There was a TV show called Dallas. Do you remember Okay, Dallas? I know Dallas, yes. That right. Was that the ranch in the show? That's right. Okay. So I got this car from South Fork Ranch at an auction. It's kind of dirty, sorry. But this is a 1967 Silver Shadow Rolls Royce. Larry Hagman, who played JR, used to drive this car around. Now, he didn't own it. It belonged to a lady named Nancy B. Hammond, which was one of the wealthiest women in Dallas. Yeah. And I guess she gave it to South Fork. They auctioned it off. I bought it. But imagine seeing JR from Dallas driving around in Texas in this, in this car. vintage 1967 Silver Shadow. And it runs. It's a great car. I take it out all the time, but I just have to keep it covered up. And it has the, uh, the iconic tray tables. Yeah. So you can put your Grey Poupon. Pardon me, do you have any Grey Poupon? I do, actually. You have Believe, some in the car? I, I do, I do, actually. <laughs> just in case. Just once, <laughs> one of these days. Just in case somebody asks you. And I'm going to say, but of course. All right, you have, you've had a wardrobe change. Things have taken a strange, strange, strange turn. You said, come on in and look at my pinball collection. I said, let's, all right. Let's go check out the, uh, the pit downstairs. <laughs> Bring out the gimp. <laughs> <laughs> no. So one of my hobbies here in Vegas is I have a Judas Priest tribute band uh, and I like to sing Rob Halford. I like to do Judas Priest and this is our rehearsal studio. My band was just here today. We were, we were doing a little singing. You're practicing. Practicing. So, this, yeah. is a nice, this is a nice, sweet setup for a yeah, band room. It's fun. Um, you know, I work with D-Drum famously. We worked with uh, Vinnie Paul. So uh, they hooked me up with this hybrid kit. Do you play a lot of shows? No, we haven't we haven't played any shows here yet because we're just getting just started. Get, just I, getting I had it going in Dallas and I you know yeah. because I moved I had to start completely over. So we're just now uh, getting it fired up. That's yeah. why I still have all the costumes and things and yeah, I and just you love let, Judas Priest. And you let me hold one of these. This thing weighs like thirty pounds. It's like literally thirty well, pounds. Well, you know, my costume maker Terry, I mean, I told him I said I want it to be legitimate. I I don't want to fake. This thing is so heavy it hurts your back. I mean, and you have three of them. Well, those are the chaps. Oh, okay. But I do have other outfits that I don't have in here. But you can you can see, you know, there's actually a back patch that goes here, but it goes all the way to the floor. And there's there's so much metal. Metal. <laughs> it's a lot of metal. I think now we're gonna go get some food and maybe stop by a few places in Vegas that he wants to show me. Don't believe we're gonna take this vehicle. Not really sure which vehicle we're gonna take, but hopefully one of the movie cars. That would be awesome. This is a taxi, just sitting here, just a taxi. Okay, clearly he knows which vehicle I want to ride in. The DeLorean, the time machine DeLorean for Back to the Future. It's your kids, Adam. It's your kids. <laughs> or you could say, how about a ride, mister? How about a ride, mister? <laughs> We're going in the DeLorean? Let's do it. I like that you have Mr. Fusion back here too. Am I gonna fit in this thing? <laughs> I don't know how. Alright, gotta give it a pull. Do I just pull that real hard? Yeah. Here we go. There you go. We're you're, in. You're, st you're We're stuffed in there. We're in here. Yeah. November 5th, 1955. I remember it well. I was in my bathroom hanging a clock up over the sink. The person was wet. I slipped. I hit my head. But when I came to, I had a vision. There's a vision of this back here. Flux flux capacitor what makes time travel possible. I love it. So you want to see the signing of the Declaration of Independence? Right. We witnessed the birth of Christ. I remember when all this was just farmland. As far, far as the eye could see. It's true. I remember when all this was just dirt. <laughs> this is awesome. I've modified this car a little bit to make it a little bit more Vegas proof. It's got custom power steering and an automatic just to make it a little easier. Yeah. A lot of millennials can't drive a stick, you know. So what's on the agenda as far as where you're going to take me? So there's like a, a cool retro 80s diner? There is. There is the Back to the 
80s cafe and more. Sounds perfect. It's right down the street from my house, wouldn't you know. And uh, it's on Maryland, the Tropicana. Everybody loves it. And if you are into Back to the Future, Ghostbusters, just the 80s in general, it's a destination. My good buddy Chris runs it. We also got a new 80s joint that just opened up called Open Scoops and Ice Cream Place. Maybe we'll go by there. We could do both. Maybe. We could get but I gotta say, the shakes at Cafe 80s are oh. pretty good. Okay. I don't know if it's as good as a Mad Greek shake, but Mad it's Greek. pretty good. Yeah, Mad Greek's pretty good. I'm in your hands. You just take me take me to all the spots. Well, not all of them, but... If you like a vanilla shake in Vegas... I do. Believe it or not... The 80s. No, check it out. The, um, the Heart Attack Grill on Fremont... Yes. They have a butter fat shake. <laughs> Sounds disgusting. They put an entire stick of butter in it, but I gotta tell you, it's fantastic. <laughs> okay, we have arrived. There's the Ghostbusters here. And then here is Back to the 80s Cafe and more. They have the Back to the Future font right up top as well. And then of course on the front window, they have a lot of a lot of nostalgic stuff. You got Madonna, you got Prince. Stepping into this place is like stepping into nostalgia overload. Freaking awesome. I feel like if I was gonna open a business and open a restaurant, which I probably never will, but if I was going to, this would be the type of place that I would probably want to open just because it is, it's just all about the 80s. My favorite era. 1985, I was 11 years old. So, you know, it was kind of the formidable years of my youth kind of growing up in that era. And I still, to this day, I still love everything from the 80s. And this place is just decked out with 80s nostalgia. Back to the 80s cafe and more in Las Vegas. And it's not just a place, not just like a cool hangout vibe, but it's also a place you can get food and drinks. And we, we got our grub on. I got something called a Paul Rubin sandwich, which is pretty dang awesome. Paul Rubin sandwich. Like all the names on the menu, everything on the menu has kind of like an 80s flair to it, you know, named appropriately for, for, you know, 80s, 80s items and things like that, which is very clever. Highly recommend if you're into 80s stuff and retro goodness from that era. Back to the 80s Cafe and more in Las Vegas. Glad we stopped off here. And we pulled up in a DeLorean. What? Well, it doesn't get much better than that. So I ended up having the Paul Rubin. What was it that you had? I had the Monte Cristo. The Monte Cristo. Yeah, it's like a fried ham sandwich. It's pretty good. Yeah. With the Tetris tots. Tetra, I like the Tetris Tots, so basically yeah. the way the Tetris Tots worked is you could take them and try to like play the game of Tetris, like Nintendo style. Yeah, except I kept eating them so I could never get the... the you, never, you never got the, the full that's deal. That's what you do, you gotta put them together and then when, rather than them disappearing, you just eat them. That's what, yeah, that's the secret. <laughs> What's the other spot you said there's like 80s, they even had the milkshakes and there's stuff? There's an uh, ice cream shop just opened up called Open Scoops down Sahara. Okay. They're an 80s ice cream. We should get there. We should we should keep the '80s theme going and go over there. It's just because you like ice cream. I like ice cream. and I like the '80s. This is this is evident. You're it's, gonna be in heaven. All right, let's go there. It's, it sees it sees a ghost. It detects it. I think we're gonna see a spec. Oh my God! It's Slimer. Proton pack gearing up. Shooting Slimer. Traps open. Don't look at the trap. Trap. One in the trap, ready to go. The Ghostbusters are even out front too. <laughs> what about they ordered to eat? It's too bad this thing really will not take us back in time to old Vegas style. Oh yeah. We could see the strip in downtown Fremont back in the glory days. Sure. I wish it had the Hummer conversion when we get this traffic coming up here. Yeah. Because, <laughs> <clears throat> we would just fly right over them. I just like that we're gonna go down to Las Vegas Boulevard in a DeLorean time machine. Fun trivia, when the post office did their Statue of Liberty stamp, yeah. by accident they used that Statue of Liberty. Oh, not <laughs> the real one. They didn't realize the mistake until later. They Instead of the real one, they used the fake one from New York, New York. And that's what I love about living here is that we have Paris. We have Rome, Italy, New York, we have everything, all on the same street. You just walk like a couple miles down the strip and you can hit everywhere. Yeah, and what amazes me is people will come from actual Paris to go to fake Paris. Oh yeah. Or actual Italy to go to the Venetian, 
or Caesars. I know that philosophy well. I'm going to Disney's Epcot and do World Showcase, walk around World Showcase. It's interesting, you know, that people travel to what they think they know. Yeah. And I think we just have some of the greatest shopping. Yeah, I just love that everyone just takes videos and, <laughs> and photos as they're going by here and points. He said go back to the 80s, it'd be better. It would he's, be. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. <laughs> this is like, it's like at the paparazzi out here. Yeah, you filming people filming it. <laughs> That's what I do. People are filming filming your car and I'm filming this them. This is how you know we're from the 80s because we still say filming. <laughs> That's we all haven't digital. haven't seen any film <laughs> in that decade. Or more I just that. realized we're exactly the same age by about three weeks. Yeah, we're, we're both 1974. 70, we're 74. 74 kids. Yeah. Can you usually tell people our age or the ones that are really stoked to see the car? Well, it transcends through the generations because even little kids know what it is. It's never gone. Back to the Future's never gone away. The scale model Eiffel Tower. Is that like half scale? Three okay. quarter scale? It's a scale. It's definitely a scale. I've never seen the real one. But I've been up to the top. Got the stratosphere in the distance. Is this supposed to be like a UFO? This fashion not, show yeah, thing? Yeah, you know what I think it is? Remember in the 80s, probably when they built this, remember the big floppy fashion hats that yeah. women would wear? I think that's what it's supposed it's to supposed be. supposed to be a big because floppy it's the fashion thing. show mall. Okay. And, and that's just the era. It's still here. It's still that style. It looks pretty cool, right? The it reflection is. of the glass. So this is an 80s ice cream shop off of Sahara. And I know you love Up in Scoops. There it is. So I think of Scoops. I think of ice cream, but I also think of... I'm trying. I'm drawing a blank on the show. Stranger Things. Scoops Ahoy. Oh, yes. Do they have any Stranger Things stuff in here, too? I think they might. They probably do. Oh, I should probably close my door. It might help if I close my door. Yeah, close this one. <laughs> We're gonna get some ice cream. Come on in and get a scoop. Uh, thanks. I, I was curious. <laughs> All right, later. Up in scoops. Up in scoops. I've never they have banana splits. They have Dole whips. They have milkshakes. They have ice cream. They have gelato and more. And just like the other 80s theme place that we were just at, we are now at another. But this is technically 70s, 80s, right. and 90s. Probably have like 300 people take pictures of your car today. Oh, there'll be thousands. <laughs> Especially on the strip. If you have any leftover banana peels from banana splits, yeah. just let me know. I'm gonna need those <laughs> later. I do actually. Mr. Fusion. <laughs> and a Miller Lite, if you don't mind. That's what I'm gonna do. With the DeLorean parked out front, now we're gonna go inside, up in scoop, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Thank you for being a friend. As soon as you walk in, you got Castle Grayskull here. I have, this is pretty awesome. You can do the I have the power moment. Yeah. I have the power. How's it go, the the, uh, the power of Grayskull something? The power of Grayskull? I don't know what it is. <laughs> I just know it's I have the power. They sound like He-Man? Yeah. Okay, this is pretty cool. So they have all this like stuff here in the case. You got grease down here. Yeah. You got Star is Born, E.T. Oh, there's Solo. And Car Frozen and Carbonite. So it's not just 80s, it's like 70s, 80s, and 90s. I sure you got my so-called life. Fun fact, you know that my so-called life house is the Myers house? Oh. From Rob Zombie's Halloween. Wow. In South Pasadena. Of course, on Nintendo, we were just talking about this. I was 11 years old when Nintendo came out in 85. And that was just a formidable, Mr. Mouth. formidable they call me. time frame of my life. Of course, you got Star Wars down here. You got Vader. Okay, this place is awesome. This place is pretty dang cool. Oh, Mutant, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Check it out, you got the pie up top. The Fisher's in babysitting. Oh, this is the best. Oh. Christmas. There Come out to the coast, we'll have a few laughs. <laughs> that is great. Potty like it's 1999, it's the best. <laughs> That's awesome. Check it out. WrestleMania 2, I think it was? 
Was it WrestleMania 2? I don't remember. One or two? I do like the homage here to AHA's take on there. That's good too. Take. Miyagi Do? So you got Miyagi Do and you got Cobra Kai. Hey, this place is awesome. I kind of feel like you kind of need to go to both spots. Yeah. You get your you food to one place and your dessert over here. They're about 10 miles apart, but it's not that. It only took us a few minutes to get here. Well, it's a say Sunday, right? As a recording, a Sunday. So the, Sunday. the strip was. Also, well, I have a time machine. That's so true. So I can just set the time. Matter of fact, I time traveled uh, today because I sprung forward an hour. It was amazing. That's good. I skipped over that hour to get to the next hour. <laughs> to instantly arrive here. That's true. Is daylight, daylight saving time last night? Or this morning? One of those. Have you set your clock? I never know what time it is. I get it. Finally, all my clocks are, are, are correct again. They've been wrong for the last six months. Got all the new kids stuff up here. Pre NKOTB. And then, of course, the main event. I got the ice cream down below here. I got the of the month there. Coming to America. Oh, I saw posters too. The Back to Future poster there. 12 bucks. Mario. Got the old team beats down below here. And they have an arcade. Galaga, Donkey Kong, Area 51, Tank Girl. Good. The 80s of Vegas. This is awesome. The Homer. The Homer going back into the bush. <laughs> now you said you're about to explode from the meal we had. I'm so stuck. Right, you get, I'm, I'm you're gonna get a small. Get a small. Get a small ice cream. Small. Go ninja, go ninja, go. Part two. My buddy Jared was instrumental in getting them together back with the Vanilla Ice really? the reunion. He a couple of years ago he had a big party. It was fantastic. Alright, which which one am I gonna have here? I might go with the mix. I actually have a little slight homage to my, my boy Benny and I from Pantera. They have a some vulgar something. That's what it's called. They have a vulgar display of ice cream? Vulgar display of ice cream. Uh, Animal, cra <laughs> Animal Cracker House. <laughs> Strawberry Shortcake. Pirates of the Coffee Bean. Vulgar display of chocolate. Oreo Speed Wagon. <laughs> Don't call me Swirly. And then Mork and Minty. Uh, you alright? Uh, uh, That's good. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna get the mint chocolate chip. I like vanilla, but I think I'm gonna get mint chocolate chip. And one of my favorite things about inside of there is the fact that in the bathroom, there's like there's artwork in the bathroom that looks, you know, it's just from different animated things and movies and TV shows and whatnot like that, all based around toilets and bathroom facilities, which I thought was very clever. I thought that was like a nice touch next to the sink and the commode and all that, was just a whole area that has to do with toilets. Toilet humor, if you're not, not really humor, but just toilet stuff in the bathroom at Up and Scoops. Two great 80 spots in Vegas in the same day in a DeLorean this time machined out. Now the ice cream I ended up getting was called the Mork and Minty. I got two scoops inside the cup itself. I did not go with the cone. I just went with the, the, the scoop. Two scoops of Mork and Minty right here next to Mr. Fusion in front of the ice cream place. All right, that was pretty good. What kind of ice cream did you get? I forgot to ask. I got the vulgar display of chocolate. That's right. Tribute to uh, Pantera. You know, I worked for Vinnie Paul, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, Pantera, you know, Vinnie Paul lived out here in Vegas and just had a lot of fans and they wanted to pay tribute to him, even though um, that's more of kind of 90s, I guess, and 2000s. I noticed on the, the front of the door it said 70s, 80s, and 90s. Yes. So they're not strictly 80s. Yeah. They're nostalgic. They got pretty excited that you pulled up in a DeLorean. Well, who wouldn't? They took a picture of your car in front of this line. Okay, 
here we'd stand right here underneath the stratosphere with the little archway Las Vegas sign in the distance just you being parked here for a couple minutes like 20 people have taken a photo yeah people are stopping with their cars yeah, it's it's pretty pretty great. Car? yeah. See, he just he's wanting a photo I, 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 I watched the papers and they found a DeLorean in a uh, Let's go to the pawn shop. Where I was on the Let's trip. go to the pawn shop. Yeah. We should do that. You got some flexible passengers. though. All right, this is for posterity. DeLorean around Las Vegas, going full 80. Set. That fan, the truck almost hit you. Yeah, a whole fleet of buses coming at me. Maybe I'll move out of the way. <laughs> I really like this area of Vegas through here. Why, because the new daily? Well, I just like the signage. Like, look at the Thunderbird. Yeah. This is old Vegas. This is by Elvis or whatever. Yeah. This is not modern day strip Vegas. I was married at Graceland Wedding Chapel in 1998. Where's the Graceland Wedding Chapel? We just oh, passed it. No, it's right down here. And also right up here is the shop from Pawn Stars. That you were on the show. Yes, been on there several times. Been on there with the time machine, as a matter of fact. Rick offered me ten thousand dollars for the car. Only ten? <laughs> that's a little bit of that's that's not, yeah, that's not enough. I, I thought, uh, yeah, yeah. It was kind of cheap that day. Here it is. This is where they filmed Pawn Stars. This is it. Gold and Silver Pawn open there twenty four. Is. is it really open twenty four hours? It is. Kinda. I'm just gonna pull on the sidewalk. What are they gonna do? <laughs> that's great. That's uh, Rick right there, there right? There he is. You get a personal message from him. Yeah. And they rent uh, slingshots and they have a barbecue place here. Is it still open? Oh, yeah. I think it's probably closed today. Like, I think they're open 24 hours just by the, they have like a walk up window. Okay. After hours. That's cool. So I don't think the gift shop is open today. But I've, uh, I've appeared on the show many times and, and uh, they've been always nice to me. All right, video Bob took me to another spot parked over here. It doesn't look like they're open either today or maybe not at this hour, but it's called the Millennium Fandom Bar. Cult fully, cult, cultish fully yours. Welcome back to the MFB fans. It almost looks like Back to the Future font kind of there too, the back. A little bit. A little bit. It's a, it's, it's a stretch, but... So what do they have inside here? They're not well, open today. A lot of Star Wars stuff. A lot of the same kind of retro thing, but a little darker. It's not as bright and vibrant as what you would see today. It's more of a nighttime activity. It's a nighttime kind of thing. It's more like, you know, the cantina, you know? Like the cantinas, the scum well, and villainy. A, there's, there's a lot of fandom going on here, like a lot of LARP cosplay kind of thing that they have. Yeah, they're like Harry Potter and Stranger Things, and um, uh, a little bit more gothic also. I wish they were open. Closed on Sundays and today's, like I said, I was recording of this on Sunday. I keep forgetting, I mean, I know we're riding in it, but I keep looking over, I'm like, oh yeah, we're riding in this thing. And I see why everyone wants to get pictures with this, because now I'm looking at it and I'm like, I should be filming this. But yet we were just riding in it. You can't see anything in the window, they have these like black curtains closed. They have the curtains all closed off, no spoilers. Maybe next time I'm in town, I can come by here. Take a look. All right, moving on. The famous Fremont Street here, starting on the left. Now, there's a great pizza place called Evil Pie. Oh, Evil Pie, I've Evil heard of that. Evil Knievel Pie, owned by the same guy that does Tiki Lounge. And check out that, what is that? Oh, classic car alert over here. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Over to the side. There's look at Evil that. Evil Pie right behind it. There's Evil Pie. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're in Vegas, and you're in a DeLorean, and we both like Back to the Future. You kind of got to stop by the Plaza Hotel. It's under construction. It's under construction right here. Stop here for does this look familiar? Yes, it does. This is Biff's from part two. I like no matter where you go in Vegas, you just always see the stratosphere. It is a beacon. Like you always know where you are because you can see it for 20 miles. And the whole city's only 20 Take a look at these low riders here. 
Check out this one here up on the side. Yeah. That is freaking cool. That's all the sun is starting to go down, but take a look at this. This is totally. sick. I just love how they're filming your car, we're filming their cars. Yeah. It's great. I should put hydraulics on this thing. All right, now we're going the other way. Back by the Golden Gate Casino within the plaza again. And I mentioned this where the weekend did Blinded by the Lights. Oh yeah, the weekend. Music video on Fremont Street and here underneath Oscars where he took his famous video with the bloody teeth and the sunglasses. Yeah. So a lot of people like to come here and recreate that music video here. I think. Alright, we are now changing vehicles. I'm gonna ride in a Rolls Royce. Mr. Wu, I really think you should. You think I should ride in the back? I think you should ride in the back. Alright. It's a Rolls Royce Phantom. You're it's a YouTube celebrity. <laughs> I get to you, ride in the back? You should ride in the back of All right. the Rolls Royce. Ride in the back. Hop on back. Do you have a place I can put my water? Yes. Hold on just a second though. See, right there to use your other hand. See where it says door right here? The button says door. Right here? Hold yeah. that button down. Hold it down. Whoa! Automatic door. <laughs> that closes the door. Power door. Power doors. Me, uh, there's a little cup holder that pops out down here. Place for your, yeah. your death of liquid. So, I don't usually tell a lot of people this, but what I did is I went back a few years in the time machine and gave myself this book, right? And I placed a few bets. <laughs> so I've done pretty well for myself. Now the book only went to the year 2000, but I've been writing off that money for a while. That's how you bought this? Oh yeah. This is awesome. There's a lot less traffic now than there was a couple hours ago when we were driving through here. Sunday night, I need to update my clock so it's seven o'clock. That's awesome. Driving down the strip. Just in case you get oh. hungry. Oh, you also have great poupon. But of course. Pardon me. What the? You just always have that on you. First hat on. You got your hat on, you got the gloves on. You're getting in full butler mode right now, chauffeur mode. Where to, Mr. Wu? Forward, Jeeves. Chief, Sir. Is it Jeeves? I assume you're going to the Punk Rock Museum. They're not open yet. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. Would you like to go to McDonald's? Can we get a dollar menu? We could. Riding in style. Thanks, Jeeves. Uh, my pleasure, sir. <laughs> I can't not laugh. <laughs> you do the accent. <laughs> well, I've practiced, you know, the, that English accent. I can take you anywhere you'd like to go, Mr. Wu. Thank you. Jeez. Yes. Unfortunately, as you can see, Las Vegas traffic uh, is not doing too good. No. Bumper to bumper this time of night. Ah, but nowhere else you'd rather be. Right here. We're doing it my way. Yes. But your way, because you're behind the wheel. Yeah. We're going to Burger King and do it their way. Would you? The Pardon me, would you like some gray poupon? <laughs> we got it right here. They, they tell it. We got the gray poupon. <laughs> Say, pardon me, do we have any great poupon? Circus, circus. Nevada. Do you say Nevada or Nevada? It's Nevada. Nevada. 
Okay. It's not Nevada. That's a California thing. Nevada. Nevada. The locals will thank you for saying it correctly. Nevada. Nevada. Yeah, well, Nevada. There's no... Oh. Nevada! It's not like avocado. Like, it's Nevada. Why do people go to Denny's and IHOP? You got some of the greatest restaurants in the world. And you're going to go to Denny's and IHOP. Sometimes you just want a moons over Miami. But the, I was going to say that. It was a friend of mine was here, and he goes, hey, let's go to this Denny's. And I was like, really? And we pulled in there in this car, and I had a moons over Miami, and it was fantastic. Yeah. Sometimes you just want moons over your hammy. I do. Viva Las Vegas. They have gothic weddings there. Look at that. Ooh. You know, it's legal here. We could go through the drive-thru and just get married. Just to say we did. <laughs> and get divorced like an hour later. Yeah, and then we'll go to the drive-thru divorce. <laughs> but then I'll have to give you half my stuff. And here is the famous fire-breathing praying mantis. The fire-breathing praying mantis, which does not look to be emitting any fire out of its mouth at the moment, but trust me, he does breathe fire sometimes. There's a sign there that says the Blue Angel, and there is a Blue Angel up there too. The old signage is still up there. I don't know what that is. Maybe an old hotel. Pardon me, do you have any French's yellow mustard? I wonder if he has any great pecan. I'm sure nobody steals the hood ornament. You know, because people want those things. Watch. Ta-da. Ooh. Fancy. Fancy. Don't want anybody stealing the hood ornament. I like that. We're now stopping off at Sam's Town. They have a Mickey D's. You weren't kidding about the dollar menu. No, listen. Get the, I, I'm all about, I'm all about that Mac sauce. Two all beef patty special sauce that has cheese, pickles, onions, on a sesame seed bun. They have this area in here called Mystic Falls. Take a look at this. This is inside. You got the hotel rooms up there and all these trees and all lit up. Pretty cool. Mystic Falls. It's like we're walking outside, but we're really inside a casino. Christmas time is, it's really magical here. They light all these trees up with oh, Christmas yes. lights. Very nice. Too little right. animated. There is a little animatronic squirrel down here. All right, I love this place already. You're gonna love it more. Look at that. It's not a real squirrel. It's an animatronic squirrel. There is a beaver right there chowing down on a piece of wood. Not a real beaver. Animatronic beaver. The thing I really like about the water show is there's triumphant amount of water and it lasted like a good five minutes. Just water emitting up into the sky and there was like animatronic animals all up on the side of the cliffs just enjoying the water show. There's a lot of guests just sitting here, you know, people here at the casino that come to this little atrium area watching the water show, but the animals are also enjoying watching the show as well. And towards the end, the bear actually like stood up. It was waving to me. Or not, maybe not to me, but just, you know, to the general area that I was standing in. The bear stood up and then there was like a grand finale of water. Pretty awesome. I did not know this place exists and it's like way off the Vegas Strip. It's kind of like a hidden gem. I mean, it's hidden to me because I'm not real familiar with Vegas, but yeah, I never knew this place was here. Pretty awesome. This majestic mountain of waterfall and through the cave. Yeah. You'll find... Oh, look up here. Oh, yeah. The or whatever. What will we find back here? Well, what every American would find. McDonald's. Oh, the Mickey D's is right behind the waterfall. Yeah, and a panda. Just like that, a Panda Express. Yeah. There's no experience that doesn't lead to McDonald's. Yeah, all roads lead to, Mc lead to Mickey D's. I also love that that very bear animatronic is the one telling you not to, to smoke. Yeah. He's not a smoky bear. He's yeah. just a bear telling you not to smoke. Yeah. Thanks a lot, bear. Hey, this be my, what be, might be one of my new favorite little secret Vegas places. Now look, they forgot to take a Santa hat off him from Christmas. He's got a Santa hat on the woodpecker? Yeah, like he's wearing a toque. Yeah, give me a little peck there. Come on, Come on woodpecker. woodpecker. Come give, on. It, give it to us. There you go. Awesome. 
It's like Morse code. All right. Back over at the Video Bob compound now. Look at this, you got the lights on here. In front of these cars. The Bluesmobile in the back there. All right, that's gonna do it for today. We did it. We did. We did a lot today. We saw a lot. This is a big, this is gonna be a long, sorry for the long video, guys. It's okay. Uh, I like having a, a lengthy watch time on the video, so. You're gonna need a piping hot beverage. You look tired. I'm good. We, had, we, we covered a lot of miles. We went to a lot of different places. Multiple cars. A couple different cars. The DeLorean and the Rolls Royce. Yeah. Ice cream, burgers, sandwiches. It was a good time. Sam's Town, all, Grey Poupon. And we finally hung out. It was awesome. We Thanks. didn't just meet in passing. We actually consciously made the decision to hang out. Yeah, we, we had a, a woo appointment. A woo appointment. That's what you call it, a, a woo, woo appointment? appointment. Yeah. A woo appointment. I got it, a woo appointment. We'll do this again sometime, next time Absolutely. I come back to Vegas. All right, check out Video Bob's channel, just Video Bob. Just Google Video Bob, keyword Video Bob, you know. Yeah. Go Video Bob Mosley. Go on YouTube and just type in Video Bob. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Oh, that light just went off. Oh, it'll come back. Is your place haunted? No, well, they're motion detector. Oh, so it's yeah. not, yeah, it's not, it's not a guess. But well, that's it. The vlog is over. Do you ever dress up as Travis Bickle and ride this thing or drive this thing around? No. Um, I, this is a New York City checker taxi. It has the actual uh, fare meter in there. It has the meter in there? Yeah, there's a meter. Let me turn it, I'll get the light on. You can see there's an actual. This is a working meter. Whoa. Yeah, this is a real taxi. This thing has a million miles on it. I'm not sure how many miles it has, but. Uh, have it you actually... ever driven this down through Vegas? Oh, yeah. The problem is you got to keep the doors locked because people will just hop in. They'll they jump think it's. In. That would be the, kind of fun. Like, yeah, take me to the airport. You could like, just be like, you could say, hey, you want some great coupon? But check out the back. This is great. Right? See the little jump seats? Yeah. You could fit like five, six people back there. Holy right? cow. That's cool. Yeah, so this this thing would fold up. I mean, the you think the Rolls Royce has room. <clears throat> Look at that. Look at my feet. Look at my feet. That's good. Right? That's a lot of room. Yeah. Wow. I had no and idea. So you could fit somebody right there. That's great. See? That's kind of weird, but yeah. Well, you got to fit as many people in there as you can. Hopefully, they're like people you know. <laughs> Not always. Not always. That is cool. Consider this, consider this bonus footage. Sarah, we already did the outro. Bonus footage complete. Done.